Hi, it's Ophir Gabay bringing you another QuickBooks Online video and today I wanted to go over my favorite feature which is the sending of reports to you automatically by email. Uh, so let's dive right in. Uh, the, like one of the, the coolest ways I've seen this feature being used is uh, by a client of mine that has an e-commerce platform and they have like several different apps that are integrated with that platform that are importing sales um, through different channels and then they get a report sent to them on a daily basis of, of their sales so you can use this really in, in, in any way that you can imagine you could have you know your profit and loss sent to you weekly um, monthly whatever basis you want to see it uh, you, you really the possibilities are endless but let's uh, let's go over one example and let's just look at the profit and loss because that's the easiest report to work with and let's customize it a little bit we'll take out the cents which I really like because nobody wants to see the little uh, pennies um, it's just not really that material and let's show negative numbers in red that's cool and and we'll leave everything else as is because this is just an example so now we have a nice looking report the way that we like to see things um, and the next step would be to save the customization so you don't have to keep doing this every time you want to run this report so uh, we could call it whatever you'd like to call it. I'm going to call it Profit and Loss um, Customized. That's easy. All right. So once we name the report, you could add it to a group. If you don't have a group, you could create one. And a group is really useful if you want like a, a set of reports to be sent to you on a recurring basis so you can have your weekly reports you can have your daily reports you can have your monthly reports that's just one use of the group uh, feature so for this let's say we just want to see the profit and loss on a weekly basis so we'll put it in the weekly reports group and you could share it with other people in your QuickBooks Online company file if you have other users uh, for this we'll just select all it's a sample company file and this is just a brief demonstration so then the next step would be to go into uh, my custom reports and well let's let's add another report in there this is all uh, by itself and lonely so let's uh, let's do sales by customer. All right, and then since this is a sample company file, the data is not really in there. Okay, this is good. And let's customize it again. We'll take out the sense. Um, all right looks good and let's save this report as well now you know in, in actuality you might want to run this report but for the week I'm just doing it for the, the year to date because this is a sample company file so that's what we're working with so this is a customized uh, report and I want to add it to the group that we created the weekly report because we want to get this on a weekly basis now the next step to set this up is to go back into reports and you click on uh, it's usually gonna come up with this recommended tab you just click on my custom reports and then we have right here our group of weekly reports and you'll see that it's set to unscheduled because we don't have a schedule for these reports to go out yet um, so let's click edit 
and we want to turn on the email feature and let's set this to repeat every week and it's going to repeat weekly every one week on Sunday let's say and then you can have an end date like if you want this report to stop being sent to you after a year or for whatever reason or whatever date you decide I'm just gonna leave it open-ended so it's just gonna keep sending it and then down here you could have the email addresses that you want to send this to I'm just gonna send it to me but you can see that you can really customize this to, to send it to any user, any investor that you might have, um, anybody that's interested in seeing these reports on, on a consistent basis. You could set this up so you don't have to go in there and manually do this. Um, so that, that saves you a lot of time and it really that's where the future is. Once, once you have QuickBooks set up where you're getting things automated you're getting apps to to work with QuickBooks so everything's flowing in there your books are really going to be pretty much up to date on on any given at any given moment so you can you know having these reports being sent out automatically is really powerful so we'll call this a uh, weekly reports from QuickBooks you can have whatever whatever uh, email body message you want to put in there and then you you have the option to either attach the reports as a PDF or as an Excel file um, Excel file is really cool for like uh, detail reports that way you could you could play around with the numbers uh, run some calculations if you need to uh, for now, I'm just going to have it sent out like this. And you just click Save and Close. And now that's it. That's all you had to do. Um, the report's going to be sent out on Sunday. All right. So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. I'll leave my email address in the description below the video. You can also ask any questions in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and then also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this uh, just subscribe to my feed that way you get notified every time I come up with a new video and that's it I just uh, have a nice day and thank you for watching